Combi mixture, put some white vinegar, Maggi, Ippies, onions, peppers. Mix that up together and then we're gonna put it in the pot. olive oil it is optional let the ground beef cook until you no longer see any redness and all the fat is gone now that our meat is drained I'm gonna add a little bit of ragu you can choose to add it or not but it gives it color and flavor some onion, peppers, any color pepper that you please, saute for a little bit, and then we're gonna add a little bit of flour to give the roux thickness. Then we're gonna add evaporated milk, whole milk, some chicken bouillon to give it flavor, and we're gonna let it boil. And then we'll add our cheese. Stir your roux in one direction so your roux does not burn. After about 5 to 10 minutes, you should see your roux has become a bit thick, put it on low so it can thicken up but not burn. For our macaroni mixture, add some mayonnaise, another Maggi, some cheese, and a little bit of milk, then we'll add our roux. to assemble. Butter a pan, add some macaroni, then add ground beef and then repeat the step. A little FYI, I usually put corn and peas in my ground beef mixture but today I didn't have any so that's why I didn't put any today. But it is optional and you could choose to put some of you please.
regular macaroni with leftover cheese. Bake it for about 45 minutes on 400. I'll put the recipe in the description box. It's very easy.